What's a ripple delete? Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I would kindly ask you to subscribe. If you're a beginner DaVinci Resolve user, I hope you'll find this video helpful. As I'll give you a few ways that you can trim, split, delete clips in the edit tab. The first function that we're going to look at is the ripple delete function. And it essentially allows you to remove a clip from your timeline and then automatically close the gap created by the removal. To use it, first select the clip and then right click and click on ripple delete. Of course, this is time consuming, so you're going to have to use the shortcut, which is shift and delete. This is really handy because not only removes the clip, but it removes the gap left by the clip. You can also select a few clips and ripple delete, and the gaps left from all the clips will be removed as well. The second tip that I think everybody should use is the trim till end or till beginning of the clip from the playhead. So essentially what this does is removing the part from the playhead till the beginning of the clip and deleting the gap left. My shortcut for it is the Q. So instead of cutting, deleting, and then deleting the empty space, I could simply press Q. And to do this from the playhead to the end of the clip, my shortcut is W. All these shortcuts you can customize in the keyboard customization. What you have to do is search for ripple and under trim, you'll find ripple end to playhead and start to playhead. Now, if I had a clip on the video track two, and if I wanted to trim this clip from the playhead to the beginning of the clip, but I didn't want this clip to move from its current position, I would have to deselect the auto track selector and I would have to do it on both the video track two and the audio track too. So in this way, when I trim this clip, this video will stay exactly where it was. Now, if I wanted to only delete the audio from this clip, one way to do it is click in here to deselect the, the linked selection. So now the videos are no longer selected with their respective linked clip. So I can select only the audio file and delete it. Now this is one way to do it. This way you can delete multiple audio files or select, for example, like this, and then delete only those. So another way to do it is by selecting option and clicking on the file that you want to delete. Another way to do it, unlink those clips by pressing option command L. Now with those clips unlinked, I can select one or the other, and I can delete whichever clip I want. If you want to delete multiple clips, you can set in and out point, Command Shift A to highlight the selection and delete. This way it will delete the area that you have highlighted. Another quick tip is if you have multiple gaps within your timeline, option D is the shortcut to delete gaps or you can go under edit, delete gaps. It will remove all the gaps from the timeline but if you have a clip highlighted, it won't work. So you have to click away and then option delete in order to remove all the gaps. And to split a clip, don't use the blade edit mode and click like this. What you wanna do is set a shortcut for the razor tool. What it's doing is cutting everywhere that the playhead is. And that's pretty much it guys. Of course, as you get better, you will find better workflows that work best for you, but that will come with time. I'll kindly ask you to subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.